Seated here at the executive chambers of the Enugu State Government House are members of the State Transition Committee, led by the Governor-elect, Mr. Peter Mba. They are here on a courtesy visit to Governor Ifani Ogwai to show commitment to a smooth takeover of power come May the 29th. <laughs> Mr. Mba highlights the modus operandi of the committee. As Your Excellency know, we have proposed a humongous vision for Ndinubu, and we believe that those campaign promises must be reduced into an actionable plan and must be integrated into a policy framework. And we have searched for the best people in the different fields of endeavor that can help us put or formulate those uh, documents. Governor Gwai assures them of his unalloyed support. Competence of our state, the community of uh, Nigerian states, assure you the maximum support and cooperation of our administration, especially in availing you the foundational and institutional memory, which will be key to your success. After the visit, the committee holds another meeting with the governor-elect who promises swift implementation of working policies for the growth and development of the state. I want to assure this august body that we are resolutely resolved and committed to the implementation, to the strategies that would ensure we realize this goal. We're fully committed to it. The chairman of the committee assures residents that the manifesto will be broken down to address the people's needs. I believe that the manifesto is eminently achievable. While you think about it as ambitious, you must recognize that it is any progress we make as human beings comes from the imagination, your capacity for imagination. And if you don't imagine that you can do something um, totally out of this world, you will never get there. And I look at it as saying by the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. As May the 29th approaches, residents look forward to an administration that will walk the talk and top on their expectation is the provision of potable water in the next 180 days as promised by the governor-elect.